You and your teammate just completed a spacewalk, and now it's time to settle in for the night. As you begin to drift to sleep, you hear a loud scream. You rush to the aid of your teammate who is doubled over in pain. Before you can utter a word, the spacecraft smart agent, Wren, alerts you that your teammate is suffering from appendicitis and immediate surgery is necessary for your teammate's survival. You've been trained in basic medical procedures before, but your teammate is a medical doctor. Communication to Johnson Space Center is always 20 minutes too late, and you need to act fast. You think back to your previous training as you help your teammate lie down. While strapping your teammate in the operating table and inserting the IV, Ren lets you know that your teammate is ready for the operation. He pulls up your vitals for your teammate and says, the vitals are stable. If you approve, I can start administering the anesthesia and antibiotics. You visually confirm the information Ren gave you by scanning the system monitors and say, I approve. Ren starts administering the anesthesia and antibiotics and pulls up a diagram of your teammate's body, indicating there are no other abnormal complications. Ren is projecting a perforated line on your teammate's lower abdomen, marking where you should cut. You make your incision, insert the probe, and now a video stream from inside the abdomen is streaming on the system monitors. Ren quickly identifies the appendix and states, I have 95% confidence I can make the precise incisions needed for you to remove the appendix. You let out a sigh of relief and respond, approved. Ren makes three tiny incisions, and you remove the appendix and stitch up your teammate. Your friend is saved, and the mission can continue. In this fictitious example, the autonomous agent Ren and its human counterpart work together to save their teammate's life. The capabilities Ren exhibited that were advantageous the autonomous diagnosis, adaptive aiding, natural seamless collaboration, and effective task sharing are all actions built upon the foundation of good and essential inferencing. And these capabilities are necessary if we want to achieve effective human autonomous teaming. If we want to win the future fight, we need to support systems that do not just function as a tool, but can instead team with our airmen to enable dynamic, quick, and strategic decision-making and mission execution. The trouble is, autonomous agents capable of this level of inferencing simply do not exist, yet. At air for all my team focuses on the inference challenge within human autonomous teaming, teaching agents to draw conclusions from evidence. We are currently developing an ensemble model capable of leveraging auditory, visual, and system information for the improved inferencing of humans' goals, actions, and even the prediction of future actions. We call it Vision Inference Action, VIA. Our work is still in the early development stages. And even though we're making strides, we are still a long way from actualizing the scenario I just described with Ren and the emergency space surgery. Even within inference, our small piece of the human autonomy teaming puzzle, there are multiple technical challenges my team is working to investigate to enable agents' inferencing of its human teammates. We've been developing our agent with an emphasis on mission planning. In this next scene, Let's see how VIA leverages various stimuli to understand an unfolding situation and ultimately infer its human teammate's disposition. A mission commander is strategizing when to release his aircraft to engage targets surrounded by surface-to-air missiles. His deputy commander rushes in the room with new information that the enemy has advanced north from its previous location and thunderstorms are coming in from the northwest. The mission commander ponders his next move. Human observers understand that the mission commander is currently in the crosshairs of a decision, having to weigh multiple possible options and playing out various alternate solutions in his mind. We understand this, but how? And could an autonomous agent understand the situation and the scene the same way you and I do? Let's look at the scenario through Via's eyes. 
There are various complications and technical challenges to building the foundation for inference when it comes to human autonomous teaming. The first being world knowledge. Before VIA takes in any information from the world around it, it already has a model built about the world around it, similar to the models that humans have of their environment. And most of us have an understanding of the scene. We know the roles of the teammates, that the mission commander is in a position of authority, and that the overall goal is to win and maintain air superiority. We've built this understanding through interactions and learning as we've survived and existed in this world. And we've been observing and storing interactions since birth. And by doing so, we built an understanding of tasks, roles, skills, and goals. Autonomous agents can build on our collection of knowledge by training on the data we produce and through models we develop for it built on tasks and specific domain knowledge. In our case, we built a model of mission planning tasks within VIA based on observation and interview data. Now that VIA's world knowledge is up to date, VIA is ready to tackle the next challenge in inferencing. Processing visual and interface stimuli. In the beginning scene, recall a man in the mission planning room. This is where the first inference occurs. By using the cameras in the room, VIA is able to notice the man in his fatigues, the insignia on his fatigues, and the critical information he's paying attention to. VIA is able to infer that this man is the mission commander, and based on his body position, that he's facing the map. Next, VIA processes information from the mission planning software, and VIA registers the eight planned routes, total of 16 entities, and nine targets dispersed in the southeast. And based on the tasks completed in the mission planning software, VIA is able to infer that the mission commander is currently in the process of game planning, a strategic phase in mission planning. Suddenly, another airman enters the room. She's a young woman with a sense of urgency. VIA notices the difference between her insignia and the first airman, and VIA is able to infer that this is the deputy commander. So with VIA's world knowledge and the information it learned from watching the scene and processing the mission planning software, VIA has a base level understanding of the current situation and is ready to integrate another imperative source needed for inferencing. Inference through communication. The deputy commander updates the mission commander. Excuse me, sir, we just got word from Intel that the enemy has advanced north from its previous location and thunderstorms are coming in from the northwest. The mission commander responds copy, faces the map, raises his brow, and strokes his chin. This is the first opportunity for VIA to interpret audio information through natural language processing to understand the deputy commander's utterances. VIA will use this newly extracted information to update its understanding of the current scenario and in response, depict the new enemy position and storm cells on the map. VIA is now ready to tackle the final challenge in inferencing. Data consolidation and inference. With VIA's understanding of the entities on the map, the new information from the deputy commander, the mission commander's pause, the raise of his brow, the stroking of his chin, VIA can leverage all this information to make one final inference. VIA is aware that the overall goal is to win and maintain air superiority. It understands that the shift in the enemy entities and weather is going to limit the mission commander's options for mission execution. So what could the mission commander's pause, raising of his brow, and stroking of his chin really mean? Perhaps, the mission commander is pondering his next move. Just like that, a foundation laying inference is made. Based on these inferences, VIA is now strategically positioned to offer assistance to the mission commander and team with the mission commander to find the best solution. It is through these foundation laying inferences that we're able to aid, communicate, and share tasks just in time. And this is a crucial part in enabling human autonomy teaming. Our efforts are still in the preliminary stages of the research and development process. 
but this is one of the many elementary steps needed to address this issue of human autonomous teaming that becomes increasingly relevant day by day. As we continue to introduce AI into our daily lives and Air Force operations, if we want to capitalize on the benefit that AI has to offer, we will need to move from the current limited applications of AI. The truth is, inference is simply one piece of the bigger puzzle that we as a lab and a scientific community need to address to enable human autonomous teaming. So whether it's helping a mission commander in the crosshairs of a decision, or the far off future of teaming with an astronaut to perform an emergency surgery, whether the mission context is in the next five years or the next 20, our work to enable the human autonomous teams of tomorrow must start now. Thank you.